Now, the first item on this list is going to be this cleaning caddy, and this is going to be something very important for Airbnb hosts. Whether you have a cleaner or you're the cleaner yourself, I think it's actually really nice to have something like this to be able to carry all the cleaning supplies from one room to the next. And I think a lot of people might forget that paying attention to how you can reset the Airbnb after guests leave is very critical in helping reduce time and cost as well. Okay, so I wanna be real. I do not wanna get myself on camera to show you these, but I figured why not actually just go on my Amazon account and actually break things down step by step on why we purchased these for our Airbnb. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've been running an Airbnb for over a year now, and it's been going great. We've actually made over $46,000 in our first complete year, which was in 2022. So I want to actually break this down and kind of explain to you why we got some of these items and how they're useful. Some of them obviously make sense and you're just going to be like, duh, but other things hopefully will be very informative for you to be like, you know what, this can make a lot of sense. Now, as we go through this, I'll put a link in the show notes down below that will take you right to the store page so you can see everything right up there and add them to your carts. The nice thing is I do earn commission for it, but it costs you $0 extra when it comes to buying this. So I can make more free content just like this for you. So next up on this list is going to be this jar. And this is so useful to be able to keep Tide Pods as well as dishwasher pods obviously separately in their own areas so that way people don't take the whole jar i've actually had people take the whole dishwasher pods like i don't know what they did with them or like why they took them but this helps i just put a couple in there for every stay if they're doing long stays i'll put a, a few extras and that's pretty much the best thing I can uh, find when it comes to not having the full set there. The next up is going to be hand towels. You are going to lose towels. People are going to take towels. Towels get messy, dirty. Uh, these are the ones I honestly found to be the best. It's a great set. I believe it's 24 for a really great price and they're always going to be in stock and you're going to get the same quality ones every single time. I don't like buying stuff from like Ross or Target because their stuff just ends up changing out so often. So next up here is going to be this multi-purpose shelf. This is great for your storage room where you're going to be able to keep supplies, you know, extra paper towels or toilet paper or whatever else you need. This has been really useful. It's nice and thin. I believe I actually bought multiple of these to be able to have in that area and they work really well. This is a vacuum. Obviously, most people will probably have a vacuum, but this one I feel just works so great and it's so wonderful. And they also support animals, which I love. And then right over here, we're going to have the toilet bowl cleaner. I just found this toilet bowl cleaner to be the most sanitary one. It doesn't leave as much residue as regular toilet bowl cleaners, and it just works so functionally, and the bristles look way nicer. So you can see here we have some bowls. It's always nice to have some really high-quality bowls, and I think for that price, you're actually getting a really good set. I did like having this kitchen trash can over here. This has a split between the regular trash and recycling. And I actually have another item here that's gonna go well with this and I'll show you here in just a moment. And the nice thing about this one, it's very thin so it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you're limited on space in the kitchen area, this is great. And then this item right over here, this is gonna be great. I have one in every single room. It's to be able to put your luggage on very easily and it just closes up and just goes against the wall so it's nice. And then if you have any outlets that you don't want people to be pushing on, whether it's like maybe having a smart light for the front porch or, you know, different switches that maybe aren't functional or don't help out in any way, this is one of my favorite tools. This just essentially gets magnetized against the screws and it blocks the switch from being used. Now, obviously somebody can take it off, but for the most part, this is gonna be a great tool to be able to utilize. Again, especially if you are doing like automatic light switches for like the front lights. Obviously, you do wanna make sure you have some hair dryers. This one has worked great for us. We have one in every single bathroom. And then, of course, a toothbrush holder is always great. This one I love because the bottom actually comes off, so that way it's easy to clean and it doesn't look as messy or hard to clean up uh, for the cleaners. And then we also have, of course, coasters. This one's really nice. If they get damaged, they're only you know 12 bucks. It doesn't really cost that much. We have this door lock right over here. This is actually going to be just for our storage unit. This allows us to be able to lock up the storage so people can't get in. And it's very nice, it has a key and it has a code as well too. So if worst case scenario, we had to give it along to the customer, we can, and then we could change it later if we needed to. Next up here is going to be this floor tape. This is great to be able to hide cables, 
So if you need cables running along the floor and you don't want people to trip, this is gonna be really, really nice. I've used it a couple times to hide some different cables running around the back ends of like the couch and even certain areas of the house. And it just makes it look a little bit more professional rather than having cables running everywhere. If you're like me and have a storage room inside the house as one of the closets, this one's great to help people know that this is not an area for them to enter into. And then you can see next up right over here, we have the no soliciting sign. I love this sign. I feel like it's helped a lot for having people avoid going to the house and knocking on the door for those guests. And then we have this one right here, probably one of my favorite items, especially when it comes to cleaning. This helps keep the microwaves a lot cleaner as we just have to clean this every once in a while versus cleaning the entire microwave, which can take a lot of time. Now, right over here, this is gonna be great for decorating the home a little bit more, whether inside or outside. This is just artificial grass. There's great ways to utilize this to make it feel much more comfortable in the home. This is just decorative items, but again, it's just something that helps when it comes to increasing the value of the Airbnb and people being excited to be there. And then we have this right over here, can't emphasize this enough especially with rugs that move a lot this helps utilize it where you can stick it at the bottom of the rug and it will not slide across the floors and it's very nice especially when there's kids involved where kids tend to kind of like push the carpet and rugs back and forth all over the place this helps keep everything in line and again, if you want to keep things looking nice and clean, this is going to be a plug that includes some outlets uh, for an extension, but helps keep it closed off so it doesn't look as ugly or if you just want to close it off a little bit and then have extensions for people to be able to plug in like their phones and whatnot, this is a great tool to, to have. Next up here is going to be a hair drain clog remover. This is great to have under every single sink for guests. So if they had to reach out to you for any reason about the sinks being clogged, you can let them know about it if it's a stay or when you're doing the cleaning and you notice it, you have it ready readily available. I mentioned earlier about the trash cans, whether you have a regular trash can like the ones we talked about or a different one, you can actually have these little stickers here that will go on there to tell people which ones are trash, which ones are recycling. It's really nice. I had issues for the first couple of months and this was the best solution and it worked out great. It's always a really, really good idea to have some CLR in the home. This is to help clean pipes. I actually have one available for guests to utilize and then another one in the back storage room for us to use when we go and clean. So this one right over here is again, also another favorite of mine and I get a lot of compliments with this from guests. These are motion sensor lights. So in areas like underneath the sink or underneath like the Lazy Susan or even in our storage closet where it's sometimes harder to see, especially at night, these motion sensors use AAA batteries. If they wave their hand underneath or like reach for something, these will automatically get triggered and the batteries last anywhere from, I would say 10 months to about 12 months. So almost a full year, especially if it's not being used on a daily basis. And again, it's one of my favorites. It comes with six lights and I, I've used them in my personal home as well as in the air. Airbnb. Now, one thing people do not think a lot about is having something like a Febreze fabric spray. This is critical when walking back into a home after a guest and it just has a really stark stench. This will help clean up a lot of that smell and it's come in handy quite a few times. Next up here is going to be the vent dryer cleaner kit. This is really helpful. Uh, I think people know that it can be very dangerous for the dryer to just kind of build up a lot of that lint. And so this is going to help clean it. And I think it's very vital. We don't have it available for guests to use. We just use it when it comes to doing our deep cleans for the Airbnb. And then this one you do want to be a little cautious with, but it is of course a bidet. It'll help you save on the cost of toilet paper. The only thing to be cautious about about is with kids and them not understanding how bidets work is they can accidentally leave it on but I've never had any issues with that so something to keep in mind next up here is going to be washing machine cleaning tabs this is going to be to actually clean the washing machines and I kind of mentioned earlier as well too as far as deep cleans deep cleans are actually really important to make sure that you're showing guests that you really care about the property and that to them, this is gonna be something that feels nice and fresh every single time. So having something like this where we toss in a couple tablets one, once or twice a month to just do a deep clean on the washer really helps out. One thing I know a lot of Airbnb hosts don't really think about is the battery situation when it comes to the smoke detectors. This is gonna be huge because if a smoke detector starts beeping while a guest is there, it could be really irritating for them. So I have a couple of uh, nine volt batteries available for guests on hand for them as well as some in the storage unit just in case to have some backup as well. Now one thing I love having on my listing is the fact that there is a first aid kit available and it's just nice to have available for guests so in case something happens they have this readily available. Then there's also the security camera for outside. This is great because this one actually has a solar panel on top of it so if you place it in an area that gets sunlight you will actually never have to worry about recharging it or finding a long plug to be able to plug it in properly. Now earlier I showed the tape that helps hide cables. There's also this one right 
right here that will actually have clips to be able to put cables through. This is also a great tool to help for guests, especially if it's in areas that maybe there are a lot of cables going through. This right over here is gonna be a non-slip for the bathtub. I highly recommend making sure that if any bathtub that you have in the property has a non-slip mat because that is going to be very useful and helpful when it comes to making sure guests do not get hurt. Now, another one, if you like to help give value additional to guests when they're staying there, having games such as like Jenga or Cornhole Toss are great extra add-ons for them that honestly don't really add too much cost to you, but give additional value to the guests that they maybe didn't expect. If you have any wine or even just want the area to look a little bit nicer, there are wine racks. This looks really nice, especially if you have, again, some extra wines just laying around to be able to put on there. It looks great on the counters and and great for guests. Now, next up here is gonna be a sink organizer. This just looks really nice. I also have this for all the sinks underneath, just so that way we can actually keep additional toilet paper and other items that we need for the guests, and it helps avoid if there's any spillage underneath the sink where it doesn't ruin everything. And then right up here, you can see we have some LED lights that we recommend that if you wanna just liven up the home just a little bit more, make it special for the guest, having these LED lights just looks really, really nice and cool. And then if you want the guests to feel nice and cozy, there's some things like this where you could put stickers on mirrors. This one says you look amazing and it just gives people a little bit of extra level of care and comfort when it comes to staying into your Airbnb versus anybody else's. Now, like I mentioned, I'll have a link for you in the show notes down below so you can go ahead and get right to this page and start picking out the things that you saw in this video that can be very helpful when it comes to going through and either setting up your Airbnb or improving on your Airbnb. Now, I wanna make sure that you are setting yourself up for success when it comes to running your Airbnb. Check out my video right over here to learn the best bank to utilize when it comes to running that Airbnb.